Republicans kicked off their national convention by renominating President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. Unlike the Democrats last week, Republican delegates gathered in person for the roll call vote in Charlotte. President Trump made a surprise appearance. So I just want to thank everybody for being here. And again, I felt an obligation to come to North Carolina. It's been a place that uh, that's been very good to me. But that was the end of the physical convention in Charlotte. The rest of the night's speeches came mostly from Washington, D.C., most were pre-recorded, despite President Trump's repeated criticisms of tape remarks and videos from last week's Democratic convention. Many of the night speakers were like Kimberly Guilfoyle, the girlfriend of Donald Trump Jr. and head of the Trump campaign's fundraising. She, like others, focused on culture war grievances and painted Democrats as elite, urban, anti-American socialists. Biden, Harris, and the rest of the socialists will fundamentally change this nation. They want open borders, closed schools, dangerous amnesty, and will selfishly send your jobs back to China while they get rich. They will defund, dismantle, and destroy America's law enforcement. When you are in trouble and need police, don't count on the Democrats. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott closed out the night with a much more traditional convention speech. We put hard-earned tax dollars back in people's pockets by cutting their taxes, especially for single-parent households like the one I grew up in, cutting single mothers' taxes 70 percent on average. President Trump supported these tax cuts for those single moms and other working families and signed these policies into law, and our nation is better off for it. So. I'm going to ask you, the American people, not to simply look at what the candidates say, but to look back at what they've done. The convention continues tonight. Scott Detrow, NPR News, Washington.